Hello, y'all. This is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the um, May 2016 love reading for the Virgo. Um, this is just going to be for the remaining, the remainder of this month. So we're still at the beginning of the month. Okay, so I'll be looking at you know what's going on so far this month, and then um, so I'm doing it a little bit different. This month I'm doing <clears throat> a six card spread actually. So I'm sorry, I'm just shuffling. Um, card number one. Um, it's gonna <clears throat> you're gonna basically get what's going on now or like whatever like what advice and um, your sexual connection with this person the emotional connection um, any external influences is this person gonna be long term and the, uh, the final card is the outcome which is card number six so I am just shuffling Make sure you subscribe for the um, 3,000 subscriber giveaway that's coming up. <laughs> um, and thumbs up this video, so I'm almost done shuffling. Okay. So again, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Okay. All right, so Virgo, it looks like so far there's been <clears throat> sort of a rough month because you got the Seven of Swords as card number one. And that is not good at all. Um, what I'm seeing with this Seven of Swords is I'm seeing um, some people surrounding you, um, you know, that are acting less ethically, less than ethically. And the Seven of Swords is strictly about trust issues. Okay, whenever this card ever comes up, when I'm doing a love or a relationship reading, it's about trust. So card number one is, this is your subconscious telling you what you should be aware of in this particular situation, either about yourself or about the other person. So, for example, your fears might be limiting your options or maybe the other person's expectation or an obstacle in reality. So, again, the Seven of Swords um, is all about trust issues. Okay, this is a clear message. And this is coming up for you, uh, Virgo, because um, it's saying the clear message is that trust is crucial. If you're feeling suspicious about your partner make it a point to talk even if it's difficult being passive aggressive is only going to make things worse um, if you're single you may meet someone interesting but try to kind of don't put yourself out there so fast because I don't know, try to put yourself out there too fast, but um, don't pull back, like, don't act like you're not interested in a relationship. If you're single right now, Virgo, I'm not seeing that. Um, this Seven of Swords is telling me to um, I'm sorry, I <laughs> I was looking at the card and I noticed something anyway. Um, basically, you know, if you're single, don't try to push the envelope. Don't act like you aren't inter interested in a relationship because, you know, because I think it's because of the month of May and also, you know, people 
people are in a rush and the the swords is just such a really loaded suit but i mean i think that this car came up for a reason um because it's about trust and you know trust is very important so if you're a virgo out there that's having trust issues you know and then also you may want to make sure that you can trust your partner you know this could mean someone um is not being honest okay um it can also mean that somebody is prying into your life where they don't belong okay if you sense that someone is spying on you you probably are right if you are tempted to dig through someone else's life unless it's a child you know you might want to you might want to resist that and just trust that person okay everybody deserves privacy okay now also this is involving some sort of competition or maybe your perception of a competition okay um again the swords suit is about perception okay so this is all about your subconscious so this is things that are coming from you so the trust issues um could be okay now i mean it could be you know card number one here you know judging by the other cards okay is why i'm saying that because this was the only negative card that you got okay in this um in this reading so i mean i think that your subconscious is what's you know responsible for um if you have any trust issues and then also if you you know feel the need to spy on someone if you're currently with them you might want to not do that and just sit back and relax and just trust the person um if you are perceiving that you're in a competition okay um just make sure that you know i don't know just make sure that you are this is a card about trust this is a card about you know can you trust certain people and i i think that um the, that's the general meaning but for it to come up in card number one is about your own trust issues and that is big because when you have trust issues it is really hard for people to have a relationship when you have trust issues um, card number two is your sexual connection. And you did get the ace of, uh, this is your sexual chemistry, and you got the ace of swords. So I'm seeing um, a very, whoever this, now if you're already involved with someone, I can see that the sexual energy is coming from the brain. It's more so, um, and every, I mean, of course, everything comes from the brain, but being, again, this is the ace of swords. So, being that it's the sword suit, this is all about your mental perception, okay? So, basically, the sexual chemistry is not just physical, okay? It's kind of like, you know how they say when you have someone's mind? So, it's, it's, it's a, um, it's, it's, it's a deeply mental connection, sexually. And... You know, I kind of believe that those are some of the best because a lot of times it's hard to get tired of something like that when someone is like in your head. So this is like this person is in your head, whoever this is. And, you know, this is also about, you know, um, mental focus. So... You know, there's this, um, for a lot of you Virgos, whoever you're already connected with, um, it's almost like a power play. It's like a power trip. It's it's a conflict, but then again, it's not really because um, it's still a new beginning. An ace is a new beginning, okay? But it's still, um, when I look at this card as far as like when in the context of love, for example, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this Ace of Swords because a lot of times um, people can get it confused. But this is a new beginning. Okay, this is relationship. Um, if you are someone currently in a committed relationship, um, it can indicate that there's something about the relationship that you're going to choose to put a stop to. Okay, so... It doesn't mean that the relationship is over. I mean, this is actually a new beginning. So it means that like there was something that was going on in the past and 
there's something else coming in. So evidently it's some sort of decision. Again, it's the sword. So this is like a meeting of the minds. So um, if you're single, um, again, this, you know, I would say the same answer. I think that it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a really mentally focused relationship. And it could mean that you're going to meet somebody online also because you know that requires a, you know it's a little bit it's different when you meet someone online and a lot of people are meeting people online so um virgo your emotional connection with this person you do have the page of swords and we got to talk about this now you got three swords in your suit so there's a lot of mental growth that is happening especially when you get the page of swords so this is a very um this is a very good card when you're looking at you know the emotional connection because um first of all this is it's a court card so it's a literal person you know in your life and i think that this card is going to stand for either you or your partner okay um if you're single you're gonna be getting some text messages or something from someone from the past and i'll let you know why um so if you're a virgo that's single you're gonna be getting back with somebody that you were with before and it's because you got the six of cups but I'm going to focus on the Page of Swords real quick. So, um, Page of Swords, it, again, it's a messenger. It's a literal person. Um, it could be something coming in the mail this month. I mean, this is about aggressive change, okay, and a challenge. And this is a really good card to get, especially when, you, when you're focusing on mental growth. Um, I think this card is really good for you to get, especially with the Seven of Swords, because I do feel that the emotional connection is is what I think the emotional connection is. I'm not the emotional connect. Yeah, the emotional connection. I'm sorry, is what is causing this growth of perception of each other. So the Page of Swords is. Um, this is about youthfulness and change. So, um, it could be someone younger than you, or it could be that this person is mentally younger than you are. Not mentally, but emotionally. Emotionally and mentally younger than you. Um, Page of Swords. Um, Page of Swords, um, it can sometimes mean that the Virgo may be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or in general stepping on the toes of others, okay? Um, right now, it looks like Virgo and this person or whoever this person is that you're going to meet is there's a lot of mental and physical energy. There is mild conflict within the emotional connection um, in the month of May. And this is about knowing when to back off and realizing that a lot of fights and discussions are not actually worth having. Okay? Um, as long as that person is treating you with respect, you should allow your partner to have his or her space and that means uh, many many different things you know not just staying away from them but allowing them to have their own emotions allowing them to to play out their emotions allowing them to get out their emotions okay maybe they just need to vent maybe they, they just need you to listen to them okay um they have people have to get things out that's bothering them if you don't get stuff out it will sit and fester and fester inside of you. Um, it's hard if, if you're not used to talking things out. Okay. 
um, it can be really difficult to do that. But again, um, for the Virgos, I do see the emotional connection is being really good with the Page of Swords. And a little bit of conflict does not hurt anything, but um, I think that this is letting you know specifically um, you know, just to let you know not to fight over every little thing. Now, your external influences are the Six of Cups. So this is some sort of reunion. There's a lot of nostalgia right now surrounding you in the month of May. You're going to be looking back in the past. And you're going to be feeling really happy about it. The Six of Cups is a very... Um, happy card. It's kind of a weird illustration in the Deviant Moon Tarot deck. But, I mean, if you look at the illustration, I mean, it's the Six of Cups. You can clearly see what's going on here. Um, these people are looking at like an old picture show. These four people at the bottom. They're looking at an old picture show. And there's two people in the box. They're in the picture show. So this is a lot of happy, you know, a lot of memories, a lot of fond memories. A lot of nostalgia. Um, it, it seems like for a lot of you Virgos, um, It's kind of like when somebody makes you feel as though you were just at home with them. It's just a really comfortable feeling that you're going to be feeling with this person is what I'm seeing. And um, again, this is someone from the past. As I said to the people that are single or involved with someone, um, this is also a card of reunions, the Six of Cups. Very happy emotional reunions. Um is it long term you did get the queen of cups now this is a literal person this can be either you or your partner and i would say this is yes so if you do meet somebody this month they should be good okay if you are already involved with someone um it looks like it's gonna deepen the commitment the level of commitment is gonna get stronger and the queen of cups is a very stable sound person a lot of people think that she's emotional no that's not true she's not emotional she's actually she actually has a lot of wisdom in emotions and she's able to provide a lot of emotional support okay so uh, the queen of cups is amazing so i would say yes again it's a literal person in your life it could be Anybody, you know what I'm saying? It, whoever it is, they're definitely there and they're showing up in the reading because they're, you know, they showed up as a court card. So this person is definitely a permanent person in your life. You don't have to worry about them leaving you. Your final card, Virgo, is the Two of Swords. This is really interesting. So this is, this is a balance of energies, okay? A lot of people interpret this card differently i've actually had people say to me no 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 that's not what the two of swords means and you know i mean for me personally this is if you look at the illustration this is two people obviously they've got opposite energies and when you look at the at the illustration the white one has his leg crossing the other one so this is actually um, one of the best in my opinion for you to get in the love reading again because this is a couple that is really mentally focused on each other okay now there's conflict resolution this is what this card represents so I think that for you Virgos that are having some sort of conflict with someone, um, the conflict is going to get resolved this month and decisions are going to be made. 
So this is about conclusions for some of you, but it's about seeking inner peace and coming to a compromise. And that's why I really like this card because, you know, um, everybody needs compromise. And for this card to come up for you, um, it's, it's really good because like for some of you Virgos that are dealing with somebody that is uncompromising, they're going to compromise with you like it. So you're going to see that happen um, this month. And it's just, it's a really good card. It's about peace of mind. A lot of people think it's about being at a crossroads. I think it depends on the on the outer line cards. Okay, for this specific re reading, um, it's about balance and conflict resolution and making decisions and peace of mind. And, you know, it is about... Um, you know, being in a position to mediate a conflict also, okay? Or it may suggest that you are caught in the middle of a conflict, okay? It could be that, but I would say for, you know, as far as like in the context of love, this is about you and your partner coming to some kind of compromise, okay? So that is really beautiful for you this month, Virgo. So I'm going to say the message for you is going to be trust is crucial. Trust and compromise is crucial. Well, trust is crucial and compromise is, is a good thing. Um, I wouldn't say compromise everything. I mean, I, I just don't think ever, anybody should just compromise everything. But I think it. I think that whatever issues you've been having, you know, there's going to be some sort of agreement, you know, or resolution to the conflict. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. If you want a personalized reading. The link to my website is in the video description box and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.